Good afternoon, Dr. Gary here. We sell dental practices nationwide. We're dental practice brokers. And today's topic is going to be dealing with chaos right before Christmas with one of our dental deals. Anyway, we'll be speaking about that uh, briefly. We've now been in business 11 years. We have, uh, I was a dentist for 25. We have 10 employees and we're excited. We just hired a new one for to handle operations. You can reach us 363 days a year. We take off Christmas and Easter. The phones are answered from 7.30 a.m. till 9.30 p.m. every evening. And myself or one of my other 10 employees will assist you and we'll try to help wherever you can, wherever we can. The information you're about to hear is for entertainment purposes only. If you're a seller you want to sell to a large DSO, please call us because we can often get the legal fees reimbursed at closing. And anybody I work with that is a DSO, they will pay my commission. There'll be no commission to the seller. So please call us. So anyway, dealing with this chaos, on every deal, I never know what's going to close until the final uh, closing day and five minutes after. It's five minutes after the closing. That's when I relax. Obviously, we're available to our sellers and buyers before and after that, but I don't relax until that five minutes after closing. Then I can relax. So now we're dealing with chaos right before closing. We have a large, large deal. And right before the closing, we're going into contract stage and getting close to closing. And right before that, we're dealing with some chaos because of a seller revealing certain information about the practice, which we didn't have before. And it would have been helpful to have this before, but the, they're giving to us now. And it is total chaos that has thrown us into. Um, we have to do some recalculations because of it, um, conversations going back and forth. I had to get opinions from three accountants, two dental attorneys, and a friend that's a DSO to give a little guidance and second opinions how to handle this revelation. So many uh, of my sellers feel that they've sold one, two, three, even five practices that they know how to handle it. But I'm telling you, you it is difficult every single time. There's always something that happens and you have to manage it. Now, in this situation, I've got to keep the seller happy. I've got to keep the buyer happy and try to keep moving this deal forward. The seller has his point of view. The buyers have their point of view. And somehow we've got to keep this ship going forward. Now, in certain instances, uh, one of the two parties doesn't get it. One of the two parties, buyer or seller, is wrong in their assessment. And you have to gracefully communicate to them exactly what may or may not be going on. And it's hard sometimes. You've got some feelings that are hurt. People don't understand. They interpret things one way, whereas the buyer at DSO in this circumstance interpret things another way. And gracefully, you've got to get through to them. Now, one of the ways we do it is by going to third parties, other accountants, other attorneys, so that the buyer, so the seller can usually can hear it from different parties, can hear different um, opinions coming from different parties. And that's the way that we've handled it in the past. And that's what we're doing now. But it's been chaos since last night. I've had to put everything aside. Fortunately, we're now hiring an operations manager that's going to help us deal with some of the things I've had to put on the side. But it's hard. It's real hard. And you have to be on this stuff 24-7. I mean, this happened last night. Now everything started to change. Got to get in touch with the buyer, communicate back to the seller about this new revelation, and keep everything on track, keep everybody happy. Then this morning I was contacting, as I mentioned before, three account, three CPA accounts that deal with dental, two, two dental attorneys that deal with this, one DSO, and I reached out to them. I have those resources um, at my disposal. 
but you as a seller may not have that. That's why I always try to engage a broker or at least a dental attorney to help you. Don't try to do these things yourself because you're not equipped for it. Because when the buyer and seller can't talk to each other, you need somebody in the middle. We are your middleman as a broker, and we deal with this on an ongoing basis. It never ends. We're prepared for these crises, and we have to do what it, whatever it takes to keep everything moving forward. Every crisis is going to be different. Right now, this crisis is different than I've had in 11 years, but I've got to deal with it. Luckily, I have the resources by having the professionals who I just previously mentioned at my disposal, and I can get opinions from them. Now, in these circumstances, be it if the buyer's the problem, the seller's the problem, you use a third party or someone that the buyer or seller has confidence in, their most trusted advisor, and you've got to get through to them and get that information over to that buyer or seller and say, listen, here's the third party um, evaluation of this problem. So let's try to work together, but I'm giving you an opinion of a third party and please listen to this so that we can, you know, keep our, keep our ship moving forward with no problems. But it is a, uh, it's, it wears you out. I had to put everything on the side. It went from last night till about 1130 last night with texts and emails to early this morning, more texts, more emails, more consults with professionals, talking to the buyer, getting back to the seller, providing support on either end of how each one's opinion is because of this seller giving us new revelations. So you have to hear the point of view of the seller, the point of view of the buyer, and still keep everything going. And if the buyer is a DSO or the buyer, which is easier sometimes to work with than a private buyer sometimes, um, you've got to maintain everything and in a forward motion, especially when you have a buyer and seller that can't talk to each other because there's a little bit of tension. You have to be the one in the middle to move everything forward. So that's what we've been going through in the last, uh, gosh, it's been 12 or 14, 14, 16 hours. Let's see what happens. We'll stay on our game and keep you posted. All right. Thank you for listening. Look forward to helping you. And we're here every day for you. Just Christmas and Easter, don't call us. Besides that, we're having a great time. Thank you. Bye.